my brothers and sisters in Christ. These are certainly difficult times for our nation and the world as we try to work our way through this pandemic of the coronavirus. All of us are worried, concerned, and fearful at how the virus has spread so rapidly throughout the world, but especially now here in the United States. What every government and healthcare official has stated is that we need to stem the spread of the virus by limiting the opportunity for it to spread by social contact. Thus, as you already know, I suspended indefinitely the public celebration of Mass daily and Sunday in all of our churches and missions here in our diocese. My friends, that decision was not taken lightly. My hope is that the suspension would be only through Easter Sunday, but we must be realistic that the suspension of Mass could go on beyond that day. My first and foremost concern is the health and safety of our parishioners and for the sake of the common good of all society. No one has to tell me how precious the Eucharist is to our lives. I know that it is the summit and font of our life. We are a Eucharistic people, yet in times like this, when a disease is ravaging our country, I'm asking you to sacrifice your ability to celebrate the Eucharist. Yes, a penitential practice, a means of charity, to slow and eliminate this virus, which is a threat to the life of all people. This has disrupted all of our lives. Just the other day, I was looking forward to the confirmation schedule as well as to the Holy Week schedule and the Easter season. And now I find myself here trying to decide how do we go forward from here? We have many wonderful people who make up our parish communities. And although we cannot gather for our normal schedule of Eucharist and sacramental celebrations, I invite you to discover and maybe rediscover ways in which you can pray at home and grow closer together as family. On our diocesan website, there are several links that may be helpful to you in discovering old and new ways of prayer. Also, you will find on our website various links where you can find a connection, a link, to a parish who is celebrating Sunday Eucharist or even perhaps the daily Mass. If at all possible, stay connected to your local parish. Follow your parish and diocesan websites to see what are the latest messages and invitations to prayer that I may be giving you or your pastor. Lastly, I ask that you keep in your hearts all who in various ways are the first responders to this medical crisis. Keep in your prayers all who are sick, all who have died, as well as their families. Prayer is very important at this time, but I urge you to reach out to your brothers and sisters who are elderly or perhaps alone. This is a time for us to be aware of our neighbor who is in need. I believe God will provide what we need as we go through this medical crisis. God is one who walks with us, even amidst our sufferings and pain. May Our Lady of Bethlehem and St. Junipero Sarah intercede for us today. Let us keep one another in prayer. May God bless you and your loved ones today and every day.